Okay, children. First question. Uh, so, children, today we will discuss about the tablet compounds. Okay, some important questions we will discuss. Try to concentrate and whatever I tell you, please learn it. First question is what is the structure of water molecule? What is the structure of water molecule? Please see here, children. Water molecule, if you see, it, it will undergo covalent bonding. Do you remember how it undergoes covalent bonding? I told children, oxygen requires two electrons. Oxygen requires two electrons. Why two electrons? Oxygen is 2, 6. So, what in octet here? It requires two electrons. The two electrons are drawing here. Hydrogen requires one. Hydrogen requires only one electron. This is hydrogen electron. This is hydrogen electron. No one can give, no one can take. In that case, only sharing will occur. Hydrogen will share electrons like this and it will get helium contribution. Hydrogen will share like this and it will get helium contribution. And oxygen will share like this and it will get neon contribution. So, this is how coal and form in water. If you want one more example, I will show you children ammonia. Yes, okay. Nitrogen is 2, comma. Uh, uh, five children and hydrogen is one. Children, two comma five means two. We have to octet how many electrons it requires? Three electrons. Three. Three. So nitrogen has two electrons and hydrogen is in need of one electron. Hydrogen is in need of one electron. Hydrogen gets by sharing two electrons, we will get what concentration? Helium stability. Hydrogen will get what stability? Helium stability. Hydrogen will get what stability? Helium stability. And nitrogen will get what? Neon. 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 Right. Okay. Among this, uh, the most important question regularly they are asking carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide also I am showing you know, just be here. Carbon if you see 2, 4. Uh, oxygen if you see 2, 6. Carbon is in need of how many electrons? 4 electrons. To attain octet. Oxygen is in need of only 2 electrons. To attain octet. To attain octet. Oxygen is in need of only 2 electrons. Children. Okay. So, carbon is in need of four electrons. One, two, three, four. Oxygen is in need of two electrons. Oxygen is in need of two electrons. Here also I told oxygen is in need of two electrons. Oxygen by sharing like this will get what configuration? Helium configuration. Oxygen uh, like this by sharing what configuration will we get? Neon. Sorry, neon. 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 Yeah, okay. neon configuration. And carbon also gets neon configuration. Yes, neon. Sorry. Like this, the issue. Very, very important. Okay. So, you are drawing an exam, you should be very good. So, like this gas, chlorine, water structure, by I showed you all pollen compounds, just like a small division, it will be there. That's why I told you. So, what type of pollen bond is this, anyone? It is called non polar pollen bonds. Why non polar pollen bonds, anyone? Because atoms are different atoms are involving, different atoms are involving. If different atoms involve, it is called non polar pollen bond. Why? Because their electronegativity will be different. Their electronegativities will be different. When the electronegativities are different, their charges will form. Charges will form. Charges means not okay. any bond. Polar or non-polar, sir? What, Nana? It is what? polar, no, sir. Who, is? Who? Who is polar? Hydrogen, ammonium. No, Nana, it is non-polar. Why non-polar? I am saying no. C, H2, O. Ammonia, carbon dioxide, all these are non polar. Why? Because different atoms, carbon, oxygen, two atoms, do it. If suppose H2 is there, only O2 is there, only H2 is there, they are polar. Because they have different atoms, they are non polar, they will get little charges also, they will be having little charges. That's why water is having charges. Water is having charges. Why water is having charges? Because it is undergoing non polar polar bond. Pure covalent bond don't have charges as is the organic chemistry. Okay. Second question. Second question. Please see here, children. Second question is like this. The, what is the IUPC name of this compound? I will show you what compound, children. Uh, this is like this one. Two. This. This. CH2. CH2. What is the IUPAC name of this compound? Do you remember, children? Anyone? Seriously, you have a CH3. CO1, C2, H5. This is called ethyl. This is called ethanoate. Ethyl, ethanoate. What is it called? Ethyl, ethanoate. What is the name of that compound, children? 
ethyl ethanoate. What is the name of the compound children? Ethyl ethanoate. Do you remember esters children? Do you remember esters? Ester, basic ester formula is C, CO, C. This is the base minimum. Two, three carbon should be there because esters will come in the middle only. If esters goes to corner, it will become acid, carboxylic acid. Esters will come in the middle only. <coughs> minimum three carbons are required to form esters. Can anyone name what is the name of this compound? Methyl ethanoate. Very good. This is called methyl methyl ethanoate. Methyl ethanoate. Methyl ethanoate. Can anyone name this compound? Ethyl ethanoate. Ethyl is what I write. Ethyl ethanoate. Can anyone name this compound? Propyl ethanoate. Propyl. Propyl. Because three carbons are there. Propyl ethanoate. Two carbons. Can anyone name this compound? Butyl ethanoate. Can anyone name this compound? Pentyl ethanoate. Pentyl ethanoate. Ethanoate. Can anyone name this compound? Exile ethanoate. This one? Heptyl ethanoate. This one? This one, 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 Decal octanoid. This one? Decal nanoid. This one? Decal decanoid. Now? Uh, nan nanile decanoid. Nanile decanoid. Now, why should nobody is able to understand or what? This one? Octyl decanoid. Octyl decanoid. This one? Heptyl decanoid. This one? Exile decanoid. One, two, three. Hexile decanoid. This one? Hexyl nanonoid. Hexyl nanonoid. Next one second. This one? Hexyl octanoid. Hexyl octanoid. This one? Pentyl octanoid. This one? Pentyl octanoid. This one? Pentyl octanoid. Pentyl hexanoid. This one? Butyl hexanoid. This one? Butyl pentanoid. Butyl pentanoid. This one? Uh, propyl butanoid. Propyl pentanoid. Propyl pentanoid. One, two, three, four, five. Propyl pentanoid. This one? Pro propyl, propyl butanoid. Propyl butanoid. This one? Propyl propanoid. Propyl propanoid. This one? Ethyl propanoid. Ethyl propanoid. Ethyl propanoid. This one? Ethyl ethanoid. This one? Methyl ethanoid. That's all. This is the simplest ester. What is the simplest ester in the African exam? You should say methyl methanoid. Simplest ester. They will ask always simplest ketone. Simplest ketone is acetone. Do you remember, Chimu? Simplest ketone is acetone. And simplest ester is methyl ethanoid. Methyl ethanoid. Methyl ethanoid. Minimum three carbons are there, children. If, three, if you keep CO formula, it will become acetic acid. If you keep ketone formula, it will become aldehyde. You should be very, very careful. Okay, children, do this. Next. Third question. Ethanol reacts with sodium and forms two products ethanol with sodium. Ethanol with sodium. Do you remember? Under what heading I told this reaction, anyone? Under what heading? I told you to write all the reactions two to times daily. I don't know how many have started. But uh, ethanol with sodium, I told under test for alcohols, if you remember. So hydrogen comes out, sodium goes there. You'll get what, children? C2H5ONA plus H2 gas. Sodium ether oxide. What is the name of this, children? Sodium ethoxide. What is the name of the element, children? Sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide. Okay, so when? Ethanol is reacting. What you get, children? Sodium ethoxide. Ethoxide. Ethanol is reacting. You get sodium ethoxide. Okay. Suppose propanol is reacting. Propanol. What do you get, children? 
सोडियम प्रोपोक्साइड प्लस हाइड्रोजन प्लस हाइड्रोजन गैस आर हाइड्रोजन गैस लिब्रेटेड दिस टेस्ट कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर टेस्टिंग अल्कोहल्स ओके इफ प्रोपेनोल इज रिएक्टिंग सोडियम प्रोपोक्साइड ब्यूटेनोल सोडियम ब्यूटेनोल पेंटेनोल सोडियम पेंटोक्साइड हेक्सेनोल सोडियम हेक्सोक्साइड हेक्टेनोल सोडियम हेप्टोक्साइड ऑक्टेनोल सोडियम ऑक्टेनोल वेरी गुड नैनोल सोडियम नैनोक्साइड एक्सेनोल सोडियम पेक्सोक्साइड सोडियम पेक्सोक्साइड यदि नेक्स्ट डे नाइट इवनिंग क्लास यू डिड अटेंड ना सॉरी दैट्स बट यू डिड नॉट आंसर माय क्वेश्चन आई वाज कॉलिंग यू या नेक्स्ट वन चिल्ड्रन द सोप मॉलिक्यूल हैज चिल्ड्रन इफ यू वेरी रिमेंबर वी डिस्कस सोप मॉलिक्यूल इट विल हैव okay one head and one tail do you remember children one head and one tail tail is made up of carbon atoms i told and the head is made up of ions because head is have an ions it likes water means it gets attached to water because this tail don't have ions it don't like water tail don't like water so this is called hydrophilic and Water loving end. This is hydrophobic end. This is hydrophobic end. So this end attaches to water, and this end attaches to dirt. This end attaches to dirt, and this end attaches to water. Did did I say children all the things? Yes. Sir. Okay. So whenever you are washing your hands, suppose you are washing your hands with the soap. Okay. After rinsing your hands like this, soap like this, like this, then we will put our hands under the water. Along with the water, who will go? Head of the soap. Along with the head, who will go? Tail, tail of the soap. Along with the tail, who will go? Dirt. Dirt on our hands. That is cleaning action. Simple, right? Simple cleaning action. So head is what hydrophobic. Tail is hydrophobic. Tail is hydrophobic. Tail is hydrophobic. Tail has only carbon, so carbon has no covalent bonding, no charges. That's why it's a hydrophobic and does not get attached to water, but gets attached to dirt because dirt is also organic compound. Organic compound is what? Tail is hydrophobic. Tail does not like water. Tail don't have charges. Tail has that's why dirt gets attached. Please, children, try to understand. Okay. Yeah. Next. We did. I am discussing children. Listen carefully because before exam day we may get time or we may not get time. That's why. Fourth question. Fourth question. What is functional group? Question. What is functional group? Please mute your audio. See if you are doing any work. What is functional group? What is functional group, children? Atom or group of atom. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain, attached to carbon chain, and which decides its properties. Which decides its properties. Which decides its properties. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain, which decides its properties. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain, which decides its properties. If OH is there, that functional group is called. Alcohol. 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 C O H is there. The functional group is called carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. C O O. That is called esters. C H O is there. That's called aldehyde. Aldehyde. C O. That is called ketone. Ketone. So these five are very very important. And X is there means halide. X is there means halide. So. So you should remember, children. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain is decided its properties. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain is decided its properties. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain is decided its properties. OH with alcohol, COH with carboxylic acid, COH with esters, CH with aldehyde, COH with ketones, X with halides. How children? X means halides. I hope you are able to understand, children. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain is decided its properties. Atom or group of atoms attached to carbon chain decides its properties. OH is what children? Alcohol. COH is what children? Carboxylic acid. COO esters. CHO aldehyde. CO ketone. X halide. Next question children. Mm, complete the reaction. 
that say you complete the reaction. What is this reaction getting anyone? CO2 plus very poor. Combustion very poor. reaction. Combustion. Combustion. Very poor. I'm telling what is happening is nobody is saying it. this much time. Very bad. Combustion reaction. Any organic component combustion gives carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Any organic component combustion gives water, carbon dioxide, water, and energy. One carbon, one carbon, two oxygen, two oxygen, two hydrogen, four hydrogen, put here two. Now oxygen are becoming two plus two, four, so put here two, it is balanced. Methane on of any organic compound on combustion gives carbon dioxide, water, exothermy. That's why organic compounds are used as fuels. Why they are used as fuels? On combustion, they liberate energy. In why organic compounds are used as fuels on combustion? They liberate energy. Organic compounds on combustion they liberate energy. That is, this type of reactions are called exothermic reactions. Can anyone complete the reaction? C two H six plus O two H three plus oxygen. What level may be the CO two plus H two O plus heat? That's all. Always you get down combustion carbon dioxide water and energy two carbon two carbons, two carbons. and uh, six hydrogens put here six hydrogens. Okay, two by two seven. multiply whole equation. Seven by two put multiply whole equation is two. Okay, put here seven by two multiply whole equation is two. You get correct answer. Okay, so next. Assertion reasoning. One assertion reasoning I will ask. I'll give assertion. I'll give reasoning. Then tell me correct answers. First, you listen to the question. N butane and iso butane. N butane and iso butane. Let, uh, let me give the uh, assertion. I, are examples of isomers. Are examples of isomers. Listen to the reasoning. Isomerism is possible only with hydrocarbon having four or more carbon atoms. For isomerism, he is saying for isomerism, minimum four carbons are needed. Four carbon atoms are needed. So only assertion correct, only reasoning correct, both are correct. Reasoning are correct, but reason is correct explanation of assertion. Okay, so you are saying this is correct, this is correct, but this is not correct explanation. Yes. Yeah, correct. Very good, fantastic. Because butane is one, two, three, four. Minimum four carbon atoms are needed. That is correct. But uh, Isobutane means one carbon you plus can put here together. Why it is a many butane and isobutane are why they are isomers is not saying. He is saying something about isomers. He is not telling about butane and isobutane. So assertion is correct. Reasoning is also correct. But assertion is not correct explanation of reason. Reasoning is not correct explanation of assertion. So answer is B. Okay, children. So this is normal butane. This is isobutane. Can anyone tell? Are you PSC name of isobutane? Are you PSC name of isobutane? Two methyl propane. Propane. Two methyl. Two methyl propane. Two methyl propane. Okay, children. Two methyl propane is are you PSC? And pentane, children. One, two, three, four, five. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Normal. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Normal. So, two methyl butane. Two, two methyl butane. Normal pentane. This is not. This is anyone? Two, two methyl pentane. Two methyl pentane. What is this? Neo pentane. Two methyl propane. No. Two comma two dimethyl propane. Ah, two comma two dimethyl propane. Two comma two dimethyl propane. You should say that. Two comma two dimethyl propane. Two comma two. Huh? Upon is a two methyl butane. Butane. Nice. Two methyl butane. Two methyl butane. This is two comma two dimethyl propane. Two comma two dimethyl propane. Two comma two dimethyl propane. Okay, children. So next one more question. One more assertion is needed, children. I am telling assertion and reasoning. Please, all of you, listen to the normal. Ah, uh, he is saying alkenes, alkenes undergo addition reaction. Alkenes undergo addition reaction. Is it correct, children? No, sir. 
you know, absolutely wrong. Only alkenes and alkenes will undergo. Alkenes will never undergo. Absorption is wrong. Pakka. Let's check reasoning also. I, uh, addition reactions are a characteristic property of unsaturated. He is saying addition will only be undergone by, undergone by unsaturated hydrocarbon. This is true. Yes, sir. That this is, is false. A is false and I is true. Uh, so which, uh, which option? A, B, C, D. Option D. No, C. B. C. Assertion is wrong. Reasoning is correct. C. Assertion and reasoning both wrong is D. Am I correct? No, no, no. A is true, but sorry, sir. One second. Sir, B. D, no, no. D. A is false. D on it. D, D is correct. A is false. A is R false. R, R is true. So D is the option. Okay. So children, uh, uh, addition reactions only unsaturated hydrocarbons will undergo. Who are unsaturated hydrocarbons? We know. Alkenes and alkenes. Alkenes alkynes and alkynes are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Why they are called unsaturated hydrocarbons? Because, because they have they double have bonds and triple bonds. bonds. Because they have double and triple bonds. Alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated because they have double and triple bonds. They only undergo addition reactions. Alkenes will never undergo addition, right? Because they are saturated. What do you mean by saturated? They have all single bonds. They have all single bonds. What you will break? You can't break it. You can't uh, subject them to addition. If you want, then you can go for You can go for Instead of addition, you can go for and substitution. substitution. You can go for substitution. But uh, addition is not possible. Addition is not possible. Okay, children. So you should you should understand. So most of people will understand. You will see an answer in detail. Next question. What are the differences between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons? Question. What are the differences between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons? This is the question. Children, saturated means they have only single bonds. Single bonds. Example. Single bonds. Alkenes. Alkenes undergo. Combustion. Complete combustion. Complete combustion. Therefore, they burn blue with flame. Blue, blue flame. Blue flame. Because they are no complete combustion. No soot no or no ash. Because they have soluble in. They do not undergo addition reaction. Uh, they do not undergo addition, addition reaction. Yeah. Addition reaction. Why they do not undergo addition reaction? Because they have only single bonds. Very good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Satya. Satya, you tell unsaturated now. Double and triple bonds only. Double and triple bonds. Very good. Example number. All alkyls and alkenes. Alkenes and alkyls. Alkynes. They undergo incomplete combustion. Partial. Okay. Partial or incomplete. Okay. They burn with uh, yellow flame. That's why they under uh, they, because they undergo partial. They liberate. Uh, liberate soot and ash. Soot or residue, they liberate or ash. Okay. And do they undergo addition reaction? They undergo addition reaction. Yes, they undergo addition reaction. Why right? they undergo addition reaction? Because they have double and triple bonds. Triple bonds. So the alkenes, how many hydrogens we should add, children? In presence of nickel cation, this one uh, hydrogen, if you add, you get alkenes. And to so the alkenes, how many hydrogens we should add, children? Two. Two hydrogens in presence of nickel cations to give alkenes. Okay, alkenes. Uh, what is the industrial application of addition reaction, given? Oil. Very good. Industrial application of oil. addition reaction means oils are converted to fats. Fats. Oils are converted to fats. Oils are converted to fats. So oils are unsaturated. Fats are saturated. Which is better to eat? Oils or fats? Are? Oils, oils are better to eat. Fats are saturated. It takes a lot of time for digestion. It is difficult for digestion also. Oils are good to eat, children. Because oils are unsaturated, they have double and triple bonds. By adding it, nickel acts as a catalyst. What is the function of nickel? Nickel acts as a catalyst. Of it's breaking down. Now. It so, speeds up reaction double. and also break. Breaks the bond. Breaks the bonds, double and triple bonds. Okay. What are the function of nickel? Means you should write it should act as a catalyst. Leave one line gap and write down. It speeds up the rate of reaction. Leave one line gap and write down. Breaks the double and triple bonds. 
like that, just like that. You should have a complete picture of a subject in your uh, brain research. You can answer any question, children. And I am never saying that they will ask question like this. They will never ask question like this. Right? All differences between saturated and unsaturated, they will never ask. Them. They will ask any one of the big things. But if you know all these things, they are interlinked with children. You will understand the subject. That's why it's like this. Okay, and because they undergo addition reaction, unsaturated, because they undergo addition reaction, they can, they can decolorize bromine water. Fantastic. They can decolorize bromine water because they react with bromine and they can de de decolorize bromine water. They cannot decolorize. Why? Because they do not undergo addition reaction. Yeah. Like this, we have to study children. If you study like this, any way you can answer, any way they ask an answer. Okay, so like this, we have to stretch. Next question. Okay. Um, yeah. Next one. Uh, two carbon compounds exceed their children. Why is there? Please listen, children. They have molecular formulas. One is, children, this is C3H6 and this is C4H10. Okay, uh, respectively. Which one of them will show addition reaction? C3H6. C3H6, sir, because it's propene. X. Alkene. This is propene. This is butane. butane. This is alkane. This is alkene. Alkenes are? Unsaturated. Unsaturated. Alkenes are? Saturated. Saturated. Unsaturated undergo? Addition reaction. And saturated do not, not undergo addition, addition reactions. reactions. Do not undergo addition reactions. Okay. Uh, so justify your answer. Also give the chemical equation to explain the process of addition. C3S6. If you want to add hydrogen, you please take catalyst. If you don't write nickel on the arrow, zero alkyl dexa. And this will become C3H8. Propane will become? Propane. Propane. Butane will become butane. Pentane, pentane, hexane, hexane, heptane, heptane, octane, octane, nandine, nandine, dectane, dectane. Alkenes require only one hydrogen. If anyone wants, I will show the structure also. Then you will understand clearly. See here, children, I am showing the structure also. Propane looks like this, children. Propane looks like this. Children, propane looks like this. Please see here, children. Propane looks like this. And when you add two hydrogens, and you have two hydrogens in presence of nickel catalyst. And you have two hydrogens in presence of nickel catalyst. One hydrogen gets attached. Nickel will break the bond. Nickel will break the bond. One hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. Compulsory way, double bond is there. They don't need to attach. You can't go and attach wherever it wants. Okay, I don't have to place the term here. But you should write in single line reaction. If you write the reaction in two lines, I will never be marked. I don't have to place the term writing down. You do never write down children. Reaction should come in single line. How do you manage it? Okay, children. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, like this. Now here one hydrogen came, here one hydrogen came. This is your propane. Propane gives propane. Propane gives propane like this. This is reaction. This is structural reaction. How it is occurring, I will show you. Okay, children. So next step. State any three point differences between ionic and covalent bonds. So every year they are asking for a question. What are the differences between ionic and covalent bonds? Every year in bond they are transfer of electrons take place. Any bond is occurring because of transfer of electrons. Transfer of electrons. Covalent bond is occurring because of sharing of electrons. Sharing of electrons. Because of transfer of electrons. Here ions are ions are formed. Ions are formed. Here. No ions. Ions are not formed. Here, no ions. Charges. Charges are no ions are formed. Because ions are formed, the charges are present. Charges are present. Charges are present. Here, charges are not, not present, present because there are no ions. Very good, very good. Charges are absent. <laughs> because they have charges, they are good conductors of good conductors of electricity. Heat and electricity. And here they are bad conductors of heat and electricity. And here they have. I, 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 I
Why high NP and high BP? I said high strong intermolecular attraction. Strong intermolecular attraction. Why? Because they have ions. Ions are held. Plus and minus are held strongly. Children. Plus and minus ions are held strongly. We have no ions. They are held weakly. That's why they have high NP and high BP. And they are soluble only. Polar solvents. Polar solvents. They are soluble only. Polar solvents. Okay. Children, I did it wrong. Children, first one. I told non polar, children. Yes, sir, before I said. Uh, H2O, I said as non polar. Right? Polar, you said, sir. I said non polar. Oh my God. Sorry. No, sir, it's non polar only, sir. What did I say? Non polar or polar? What did I say? In the time? Polar, sir. I said non polar. Yes, they are non polar. I'm sorry, children. By mistake, I told H2O is a polar. No, H2O is a. Oh, no, no. H2O is a. Oh. Polar. Polar. You H2. said non-polar, sir. Oh, you. Sorry, yeah, you are telling me. I did not understand. H ionic compounds are soluble in polar and co polar means they have charges. Non-polar means they don't have charges. charges. Non-polar means they don't have charges. Children, exactly. starting of the class, I told wrong. I'm sorry, children. For ionic is polar. Covalent will charge soluble in non-polar. Non Why non-polar? Because non-polar don't have charges. Non-polar means it, like a same atoms are involved and or which like which don't have uh, charges. Polar. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar solvents. Covalent compounds are soluble in non-polar solvents. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar because they have charges and also have charges. Differences are very, very important. The starting of the class, I told wrong children, be careful. What is polar? Because they have charge. Ammonia is polar. Carbon dioxide is polar. Why due to difference in electronic polarity is observed? Next question. One more question. Yeah, uh, stay three point. Yeah, next one, children. Uh, I will write the reaction. You tell me the heading, children. What is the heading? C2H5OH with oxygen gives dash. What is the heading, children? The heading? Combustion reaction. Combustion. Carbon dioxide, water, energy. Same oxygen if I would have written here, then it would have become oxidation. Oxidation. Oxidation, oxidation reaction. Al alcohols on oxidation gives carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. That is acid. different. That is different. Okay, this is combustion. Oxygen is here means combustion. Here means oxidation. Okay, children. And uh, yeah, next one. C two H five O H. Can anyone tell what type of reaction is this? Concentrated sulfuric acid at 414 Kelvin. The dehydrate. Very good. Sulfuric acid acts as a dehydrating agent. Dehydration. Alcohols on dehydration gives? Uh, uh, Alki. Alkenes. Alcohols on dehydration gives? Alkenes. Al ethanol will give? Ethene. Ethanol will give? Ethene. Propanol? Propene. Propene. Butanol? Pentanol, hexanol, hexanol, octanol, decanol, ethanol, methanol, 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 methanol. Not possible. Not possible. Methanol is there, but methane is not there, so that reaction is not possible. Methanol is there, but methane is not there, so it starts from methanol. Methanol or dehydration. Alcohol can be had with this alkene. Alcohol can be had with this alkene. Alcohol can be had with this alkene. Do not forget. Very, very important. Next question. One more reaction, dear children. Can anyone tell what type of reaction is this? CH3COOH plus NaCO3. Heading for the reaction, anyone? I'll see who does that. Acid plus. Ah, correct, correct. Acid plus. Bicarbonate. 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 Bicar
A compound X is formed the reaction of uh, C2H4O2. See here. C2H4O2 is reacting uh, in presence of sulfuric acid. In presence of sulfuric acid, uh, a compound X is formed. The alcohol on oxidation. Uh, the reaction of this is carboxylic acid is only same. Carboxylic acid. So the compound X is formed by the reaction of carboxylic acid and an alcohol. And an alcohol. And an alcohol in presence of sulfuric acid. Uh, okay. And this alcohol is saying this alcohol on oxidation gives uh, mm, carboxylic acid. First of all, anyone tell what is the heading? Esterification. Esterification. Alcohol, alcohol plus acid gives ester plus water. Alcohol plus acid, carboxylic acid gives ester plus water. So, children, what is the ester here? What is the carboxylic acid here? Anyone? Two carbon are there with acetic acid. GH3COOH plus C2H5OH in presence of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid can remove the water. If it removes the water, you will get CH3, COO, C2, plus H2O, ethyl ethanol, A, ethyl ethanol, A. Ester, and esters are formed. This is called esterification reaction. Esters have sweet and sweet smelling substance. This alcohol is saying, this alcohol on oxidation, this alcohol on oxidation in presence of alkaline potassium permanganate Carbon. is what? Carbon. CH3, COO, acetic acid. Alcohols gives carboxylic acid. Ethanol give, will give ethanoic acid. Propanol, propanoic acid. Ethanol, ethanoic acid. Ethanol, ethanoic acid. Go on. Ethanol will give ethanoic acid. Like that. Okay. Alcohols and oxidation gives carboxylic acid. Alcohols and oxidation gives carboxylic acid. Whereas here, this is combustion. This is oxidation. Oxygen, if I put here, this is combustion. Oxygen, if I put on arrow, this is oxidation. This is oxidation. This is combustion. You may say, sir, both are oxygen only. No. No children, this is normal elemental oxygen, this is nascent oxygen. Here, no uh, catalysts are used, here catalysts are used, oxidizing agents are used. Oxidizing agent is optional which helps in addition of oxygen. Next one. Name the products found on complete combustion of hydrocarbons. Children, hydrocarbons are combustion anything. Hydrocarbons are combustion gives what? Carbon dioxide. Water and water heat. Water and energy. That's it, children. Write the next homologue of C2H6. What is the C2H6 next homologue? Next homologue means add CH2. C3H8. Add CH2. C4H10. C4H10. Add CH2. C5H12. So if you want next homolog add CH2. In the same way is asking, what is the next homolog of propene? Add CH2. Add CH2. C5H10. Add CH2. C6H2. If you want next homolog add CH2. What is homolog of series? Group of organic compounds having group of organic uh, group of organic compounds differing by CH2 group. Group of organic compounds differing by CH2 group. Group of organic compounds defined by CH2 group. Okay, children. Next. What is meant by structural isomers? Okay. And uh, why propane is not possible and why butane is possible? First one, what is isomers? Compounds having same molecular Oh. But structural he said. Structural he said. So but, but different structures. structures. Compounds having same molecular formula but different structures are called isomers. Same formula, different structures, isomers, same formula, different structures, isomers, same formula, different structures, isomers. Why is uh, mm, propane is there? Is it possible? No. no. Why means you cannot arrange in any way? Butane is there. Is it possible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. How one carbon you remove and you put it here. This will become isobutane. 
two meter in propane. But you may say, sir, you uh, remove this and put here. What is the change? Uh, no sure. change is there. It is same like bending. That's all. So with propane, it is not possible. Minimum four carbon should be there for isomerism. Minimum four carbon should be there for isomerism. This is butane. This is isobutane. Butane and isobutane are a composition of butane and isobutane are the compositions of your butane and isobutane is present in which which in your house in your house where butane and isobutane are present in which thing they are used one student at least sorry is it lpg but, ah yes lpg lpg cylinder butane and isobutane are used butane and isobutane are used in your lpg gas cylinders children Please, children, try to understand this. Remember what I'm saying. You have three unable test tubes containing ethanol, ethanoic acid, and soap solution. Explain, you will differentiate. Children, there are three test tubes. In one of them, ethanol is present. In one of them, uh, ethanoic acid is present. Ethanoic acid is present. And in one of them, soap is present. How do you differentiate? Yes, anyone? Take blue litmus, dip in all of them, wherever it changes into red, that is acid, acid, you keep it aside. Take red litmus, wherever it changes into blue, base. that is base, soap is a base, that's why soaps are bitter. So wherever it changes into blue, remove that. And next one is ethanol, that's all. Lactor is ethanol. Okay, so you have to explain children. And last question: why is is formed when soap reacts with hard water? Why is is formed when soap reacts with hard water? Why is is formed when soap reacts with hard water? Because soap reacts with salts present in hard water. Hard water. Soap reacts with salts present in hard water. What are the soap, salts present in hard water? Calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate. This is permanent hard. Temporary hard, calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate. In temporary, you have bicarbonate. And in permanent, you have chlorides and sulfates. So soap reacts with these salts and forms insoluble precipitate called scum. Soap reacts with the salts and forms insoluble precipitates called scum. That's why if you go and take bath in the beach with the normal so bathing soap, children, you will see a white layer is formed on our skin. That white layer is only scum. What is scum? Soap reacts with salt present in hard water, forms insoluble precipitates called scum. Insoluble precipitate, insoluble precipitates called scum. Soap reacts with salt present in hard water to form insoluble precipitates called scum. Can anyone repeat the statement? Soap reacts with Salts present in hard water. And form. To form. Mm -hmm. Precipitate called scum. Insoluble. To form insoluble precipitate called scum. Can anyone repeat the statement? Soap react with hot water to salt form. Present, salt 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 present in hot water to form. form insoluble precipitate called scum. Any other student? Salt present in hot, soap reacts with salt present in hot water to form insoluble precipitate called scum. Any other student? Salt soap present in hard water soap to reacts. form soap reacts with uh, salts present in the hard water to form soluble insoluble precipitate called scum. Insoluble precipitate called scum. Like this, we have to answer children. So for today it is enough, children. So carbon compounds maximum I revise again. I will revise before exam. Thank you, children.